The first thing you have to do is set up your Android store. And we're going to go through that first. There's actually three steps. Uh, if you would, as we get started, please hold all your questions till the end. I don't want you to get sidetracked because you'll be the first one that emails us and says, I missed that. Uh, this is, it's not complicated, but there are steps that you need to follow and have to follow in order to make it correct. Uh, there's things that you have to do if you want your store to be set up correctly. Uh, there's things you have to do to make sure that your apps are uploaded correctly and that they're published correctly. We do have video training, steps one, two, and three that have been produced. Uh, they'll be in, they're already in the training section. Uh, they'll also be set up on the Android uh, section of the control panel. But we want to make sure that you understand before you get off tonight. So if you would, once again, please save your questions till the end. Uh, we've got our developers on board with us this evening, and uh, we'll be able to answer your questions. So let's go in here and get started. Step one. I want to tell you right up front so that you're not, oh no, I didn't know that. There is a $25 fee for setting up the developer site. And when you go in and you start setting up, and you're going to see where that's at here in just a moment, there's a $25 fee that you have to pay, okay, as a developer. And you'll do that as you set up your store and get everything put together. So what you need to do let me bring this website back up. If you'll just go to developer.android.com and or Google Developer Android and Google and it'll come up. But if you'll go to developer.android.com, you'll be able to go to this page. And what you want to do is you want to go up here to distribute. Okay, you just click on distribute and then right here you'll go to the developer console. Just click on the developer console. If you do not have a Gmail account, you have to have a Gmail account. I recommend if, for example, my company's name is Moby Advertising Group. I've got Moby Ad uh, Group at gmail.com. So you can just go in and set it up, but you have to have a Gmail account. So go in and set up your account, and then you're going to have to log in. When you log in, uh, just log in just like you would if you're logging in for your mail. And you must have the Gmail account. I want to say that again because I know.